Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday with the Rexes. <laughs> Leah Rex was just on. And I'm Tara Rex from Tara Rex Designs. And tonight we are painting the blues. <laughs> so we have this magnificent octagon piece. And I'm using, um, what color is this? Dusty blue and in the navy. I think I'm going to use, yeah, in the navy. I was kind of going in between two different colors, um, in the navy or um, Bunker Hill blue. Actually, I might even use, uh, I don't know yet. Anyway, so I was just kind of putting a base coat of the dusty blue on um, and I just about got done before I started live. So I'm just going to continue finishing this. I've got like two and a half panels to do and we will do that. I'm in my jammies. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> You know, it's been one of those, I don't know, I'm hot and cold and it's been a stormy day here in Colorado. But anyway, so yeah, so for those that are just joining, please leave them a comment and let us know where you're tuning in from. And, um, and if you're like painting with me tonight, I'd love to know. Um, and what your, let's see, what can my... Thing be what is your favorite what is your favorite color right now like what are you finding that you're putting on most of your pieces right now because I was having this discussion with my family because I was like can you give me a couple of colors to paint because I am always using teal and um, I wanted to use a different color or a couple of different colors that I don't usually use um, so, cause I kind of, I feel like, I feel like all my pieces are like teal and, um, or purple. <laughs> Hi everybody. Oh, Texas, Florida. Very cool. Hi Dixie Belle. Hello Gloria. Um, so yeah, so right now I've got, um, fun, what do I have? Dusty blue is what I'm using. I was gonna, I was in between vintage duck egg and the dusty blue and I ended up choosing this color because I want to be able to um, sell this piece <laughs> so I don't want to make it too um, yeah I know no you know what it's not blueberry it is this is so the color that I'm painting right now looks like blueberry but it is dusty blue um, so I wanted to kind of paint this color because I'm finding, and I'm sure you guys have found this too, white is, you know, one of those colors that everybody, you know, they'll buy a piece of furniture that's white. <laughs> and it is kind of harder to sell the, you know, the real colorful pieces because um, it takes a specific buyer, right? So I thought, well, let me just kind of tone it down a little bit and <laughs> and go with something a little bit more tame something that's not so loud and challenge myself because <laughs> I talk about that a lot I talk about challenging challenging myself to kind of tone things down some people challenge themselves to use more color hello everybody thank you so much for coming this evening um, yeah, so um, earlier today I was I used pink, and um, so that was kind of cool. And I painted some. I'll show you here in a second. I painted the inside of a of a suitcase. So I was painting the exterior of the suitcase on the chalk paint 101 page, and um, I shared a little secret that. Um, I'll share with you in a second. And then like something just like a light bulb came on and I'm like, oh, I can make this suitcase into something. So 
let me just finish this real quick and then I'll get the suitcase and I'll show you. But yeah, it's kind of funny how like you're working on a piece and then something just like a light bulb or something kind of comes up and it totally shifts your whole plan. <laughs> how well would these paints work on kitchen cat? Amazingly, actually. Um, new to your site, just watch you do this suitcase. Oh, so Carol already knows the secret that I'm going to share here in a second. But um, for uh, kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, uh, Dixie Bell paint is amazing. And Carol, you can use the, uh, sorry, Grace, you can use the link that's up top. Um, it's got, it's my affiliate link and um, all the paints will be, um, mailed right to your door and Dixie Bell's turnaround time is amazing so if you don't have a retailer that's close to you um, definitely order it and I think um, over a certain amount um, you get $10 shipping so that's awesome as well um, I use it all the time actually because it's just so much easier to order online for me. Um, I'm in the Denver area, so there are retailers, uh, but I find it's hard sometimes to get out and um, go <laughs> knowing that I can just get it and then like in a day or, well, in a couple of days, I'll get my Dixie Belle paint. So, so it's a great alternative. So, um, special sealant. Yes, you can use um, Gator Hide, it's a um, water repellent sealant that's amazing. And um, depending on what, like if your cabinets are um, like a melamine or whatever, you know, like how on the ends they're usually that melamine, right? Thank you, Sandy. Um, they, they, uh, Dixie Bell has a product that's called Slick Stick and you can use that on glass, on melamine, on anything that's really, really slick. This color is dusty blue. And um, you can uh, just use that as like a primer, if you will, the slick stick, and then um, paint over top of that. And then use the gator hide to seal it. I've done many, 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 many cabinets, um, kitchen and bathroom. and. I love using Dixie Bell paint. And you get a really nice uh, flat finish um, use, using the brushes and uh, the Dixie Bell brushes because that also helps with your end paint job. Let me see here, antebellum. No, I don't have antebellum, hello. Um, I'm using, oh great, thanks Dixie Bell for this. Uh, thank you for answering the question. So if I, yeah, if I don't catch a question or whatever, I always go back into my comments of my video and I answer the questions, but Dixie Bell is also on. So um, they are kind of like my eyes while I'm painting. So it's super helpful. But the color that I'm using right now is dusty blue. Um, it's kind of like a, it's like a, a grayish blue. And then I'm going to, I'm kind of on the fence between Bunker Hill blue and in the Navy. I'm not quite sure what I, where I'm going to go with it just yet. So while I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm going to, I'll show you the piece that I did earlier um, and share my secret with you, okay? Hang on a second. I'm so excited, so excited. I cannot wait. So, I was painting this piece earlier and I started out painting this side and, um, and then and I was referencing my surprise. So I used pink, A, because I don't use a lot of pink and I use a lot of teals, as I was saying earlier. And so we're getting a new puppy. <laughs> oh, 
and she's super adorable. We're getting her on Saturday. We're picking her up from the rescue. And while I was um, while I was painting this, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, I can totally use this as a oh, I just totally messed it up as a bed, like a a dog bed. So I painted this fabric on the inside because it was this brown, this brown color. And um, I'm going to um, fill this here and then I'm gonna use this gray polka dot fabric over top of it and make a dog bed out of it. So yeah, and then I used um, some other, I used a stencil and I used this, um, what is this one? The Art Extravaganza icing paste and they are amazing hi Amy so these pastes you'll want to like eat them up because they're so so creamy and shiny and delicious so anyways so our little puppy that we're getting is a little chihuahua mix and I never thought I'd ever have those words coming out of my mouth we're getting a chihuahua <laughs> No offense to Chihuahua lovers, but we have always had giant breeds. We've had a St. Bernard, we've had a Newfoundland, and now we have Huey, who is an English Mastiff. He's two, uh, he's 150 pounds. Belle, when she gets um, full grown, she'll be about seven. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, so funny in this household. But anyway, all right, so what do you guys think? Should we use In the Navy or hunk, uh, Bunker Hill Blue? Bunker Hill Blue is more of a, like a royal blue, I would say. And then In the Navy is more of like an aubergine uh, purple blue. Let's see. Does anybody have any um, recommendation for a primer before painting upholstered furniture? I think what people are saying for in the Navy. Okay, let's do that. Um, what people are saying is you spritz the upholstery. Um, and for this, for the fabric that I painted inside of my um, uh, suitcase, I didn't do any of it. Um, I should take a picture of you in my, your house shoes. Oh, funny. Yeah. Okay. Well, just let me know and I'll put my other <laughs> here. I'll put it on. There we go. And I'm in my PJ pants too. So, um, all right. Everybody's saying in the Navy. So that's what we're going to do. Um, when paint make the puppy sick, if she chews on it, well, she might get sick on other stuff that she chews on. Hi everybody. Um, Ooh, Pacific. Ooh, that sounds like a really cool. Dusty blue and Pacific metallic. That's really pretty. So, um, yeah, I don't know. She might, but hopefully she won't be chewing on her bed. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, so I'm going to do some blending. Um, where did I put my... There it is. Okay, I'm like losing my mind, you guys. So... So I've got a brush for my dusty blue and I've got a brush for in the navy and um, aren't you guys proud I'm only using two colors this evening. <laughs> Hi everyone. Yeah I don't, I don't I'm not too worried about her I you know I'm not too worried about her. Um, if she starts to chew the bed then I put the bed away. So not that I don't know, but, okay. Just like with anything, if she was choosing, chewing something else, I'd put that away, you know? So, but she is, I, oh, she's so cute. She almost, she kind of resembles our St. Bernard, um, but in a very much like a <laughs> very miniature way. Um, our St. Bernard was like 160 pounds and yeah, so I'm so excited. So next Tuesday, if you tune in, you'll get to meet her. Yee! <laughs> so they call her Belle right now and I think we're going to call her Bella, but I thought it was kind of meant to be Dixie Belle, 
fell. <laughs> so we're super excited. She's getting, she's getting fixed on Friday. So then that will be all taken care of and we don't have to do that. We had a traumatic experience with spaying when our Newfoundland actually last year. <laughs> wow. She bloated and then she passed away that night and it was very, 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 very sad. So, but moving on, this is going to be a really cool piece. And I think what I'll do, so this has a glass top. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going, I don't know. I could do... I don't know if I really want to blend it. Like, I think I'll just do like a, I might even use some voodoo stain on top actually. And um, keep the color underneath. I think that would be neat. What do you guys think? So, but that's not for this video. We won't be doing that today. Because <laughs> I have to give it a good sand. And um, yeah. So, and eventually, I'm going to be using the voodoo stains on our dining room table. So, that's going to be in a few weeks, I'm thinking. And we've got an old farmhouse table. Um, and so, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use a couple of different stains because they're all kind of slatted, you know? So, I'll do, like, what colors do I have? I got like a brown, a teal, and a blue, and a white, I think. And so we'll just kind of stagger those. And yeah, so I'm not usually, I'm not a stainer. I'm a painter. So um, so that'll be a little bit challenging for me, but I want to try it and show you guys that if I can do it, <laughs> so can you. So... But I, like I said, I haven't decided exactly when I'm going to do that, but I'm generally here on Dixie Bell every Tuesday evening and, um, and then also on the Chalk Paint 101. So Tuesdays are my big live video days. I've got three lives that I do every Tuesday. So CC Hunt and I from CC Restyle, um, and I, we have a private Facebook page. Um, it's called the Inspired Makers Society and I do a live on that channel every Tuesday and and then here on Dixie Bell in the evening and then Chalk Paint 101 during the daytime. So it's a busy, it's a busy day. Tuesdays are my busy days for um, lives so I'm talking a lot. <laughs> So, but I think my kids like it because I'm not talking to them. And <laughs> oh, awesome, Leona. That's so cool. Um, Shed is going to eat dirt. So this will be better for her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if she starts chewing it, like it'll go away. It's not a big deal. Like um, she'll probably get into other stuff, you know, chewing whatever else and it'll be worse for her than this stuff. So, cause you know, the VOCs, everything has been so strict um, lately that, you know, I wouldn't say go out and eat the paint, but <laughs> I think it's a lot safer nowadays than it was years ago. So, and then after I'm done this um, painting, I'm going to Put some transfers on as well but um, again that won't be this video because that's just getting ahead of myself and I haven't decided what to do yet as far as the transfers go so so I think what I'll do is I'll just do these three panels and we'll go back and start blending yeah so this is gonna look really really pretty because it's more of a Actually, we'll do the four panels. It's like a soft, it's a real soft look. Um, you know, it's not harsh, it's not loud. It's very, very soft. So, 
it's I'm challenging it. <laughs> I'm challenging myself, not it, but myself. <laughs> yeah, don't need it. My, this is my first layer of paint. Yes, it is. Um, I've got the dusty blue, which is the lighter, and I'm working with in the navy right now. That was the popular vote. <laughs> And then we'll go back um, and start blending here in a bit. Let's see. So I know that some people put their favorite color um, down, but for those that are just joining us, what are your what is your favorite colors? Like, what do you feel? Um, what do you feel that you always kind of tend to go back to as far as? Um, paint colors because I know that all of Dixie Belle colors are amazing but I always feel like I go back to like peacock um, just the just the blues and the teals that's kind of where I I seem to gravitate to but are there any colors that you guys gravitate to all the time stormy seas grays yeah okay yeah see I I, I love gray. I do. I just don't ever, I did a piece, I think last week, um, and I used, uh, gravel road and French linen and neutrals, blues and teals. See? Yeah. So I'm anti, yep. Yeah, okay. I hear you guys. I am. So we're here. <laughs> I get you. I feel like I'm always going back to those colors too. So. All right, so this is my second coat of the dusty blue. I don't, I try, I so I'm gonna be painting my kitchen and I look at all the colors that Dixie Belle has to offer and, I, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, very cool, yeah, drop cloth. Fluff, caviar, very cool. Yep. And so, yeah, so I, yeah, I haven't ordered my paint yet for my kitchen, but I need to do it soon because my kitchen's driving me crazy. And I want to do it before I start getting busy um, doing other people's kitchens. <laughs> I'd like to do mine while, like, during kind of like the slow, slow time for me. Um, gray and navy. So glad you. Okay, great, awesome. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, I hope that this is an inspiration to some, because it is new to me. Because <laughs> um, as you can see, oh, hang on. Do you see that piece over there? Um, yeah, that's all color. That's all the colors. I think I worked on, did I work on that last week? I don't, on here, I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, so I used all the colors and um, as well as the patina. And boy, that turned out nice. Pretty happy with that. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more um, in the navy on here and then we'll start to blend. It's already kind of starting to blend. <laughs> okay. Alright y'all, where's my brush? My brush is here and I want to just take care of that. Drip. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are making me feel so good. You guys are awesome. Thank you. So when I'm blending, uh, I've covered this in the past, but I always make sure that the, you know, I'm working with the same color. So as I'm blending and I'm brushing, I'm turning my brush so that, you know, the, 
the dark is on the dark and the light is on the light. Okay, because um, otherwise you'll get kind of all the colors all mixed up and you don't, you want to kind of stay away from that, so. So I just turn my brush as I'm going. I want more in the navy here. And everybody has their um, way of blending. There's no right or wrong. It's just what works for you, you know? I mean, it's just, I still feel like I, I do it different ways, even, even now. So, but my biggest my biggest um, tip for you guys is just to keep the colors on the same the same side. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, see how it's kind of rough here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, because I just put the colors in and then it's blended more on this side. Okay, is that a good visual, I hope. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put another coat of the dusty blue on the inside here, on the interior. And I'm kind of bringing it all the way because there's a little, um, I don't know what that's called. What is this called? <laughs> I can't think of what that's called. Anyways, that detail that kind of goes on the end, goes like a frame, if you will. And so I'm bringing it all the way to the end of that. And then when I go in with the, in the navy, um, I'll go there, okay? So that the colors will be blendy blend. You can blendy blend them. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of quiet for a second. It's kind of like when you're painting your nails <laughs> and you can't paint and talk at the same time. <laughs> but I know that, like I said, if you are asking questions, just know that I will go back. And if you are um, watching on the replay, and have questions, feel free to leave your comment and I will go back and answer any questions that pop up, okay? And again, I turn my brush so that the colors are staying where they should stay. I went all the way down too far. I got the blue. There. I think there's just a little bit too much paint there. And it's, but it'll all work out here in a second. Again, yeah, I'm constant, I'm constantly checking my brush every time I paint. Like when I set my brush down and then I pick it back up, I'm always checking to make sure that I've got the paint on the right side. And if it starts to get muddy on your paintbrush, you just wipe it off or get a new brush, okay? I use shop towels a lot. I go through a lot of shop towels or um, paper towels, or you can always use like a old t-shirt. Um, the recessed area, that's right, okay. Okay, so I'm just brushing, I'm just taking a little bit of this stuff off because it is starting to get a little bit muddy. Okay, here we 
go. Yeah, I think people are going to be wondering if I'm sick because I've, <laughs> I'm only using two colors. <laughs> I usually have like a long list of um, the colors that I use on my pieces, like, did you guys watch my, the, my front door video that I did a couple, couple weeks ago, and then the credenza prior to that? I used like, I used nine colors on my front door, of which have not, I have not been contacted by the HOA yet. Shocking, I know, but that's okay. Um, I think why I haven't been contacted yet is because the door is kind of set in underneath our porch and it was already teal and so I don't think the HOA has seen it <laughs> because it kind of looks looks kind of the same but I mean if they were to come up to the door different story <laughs> Yeah, and then on the credenza, how many colors did I use on that one? Close to nine as well. <laughs> so, and then on that piece I used, gosh, I don't know. I would say that I use about a minimum of five colors on a piece, generally speaking. Okay, so I'm lightly misting my brush, and this is just like a wax brush that I use for blending. Um, I've used chip brushes before to blend. Okay, so again, I'm turning my brush as I go. And might need some more paint down there. This one. Yeah, I've had this piece for months. It's been kind of hanging out upstairs. Um, it's because I haven't had any, you know how sometimes you just look at a piece and it doesn't really talk to you. And then one day it says, I want to be dusty blue <laughs> in, in the Navy. <laughs> and so that's what happened today. I moved it down here into my studio to be painted. And yeah, so. I bought this piece on Facebook Marketplace in the summertime. And yeah. So it's finally getting getting its treatment done. And as far as transfers go, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I might use the Lush Florals transfer. Um, how long did it take me? Uh, you know what, Heather, it really didn't, I don't know. Um, not long, you know, blending really isn't that, I want, you know what, I'm not going to say, I want to say blending really isn't that hard. However, I do know that people have a really hard time blending, but I think what it comes down to is the brush is a big part of it and um finding your finding your um like the way that works for you so i don't know are you have you tried blending is it is it challenging for you um and if so you know you know, just watching videos and practicing, you know, practicing on like canvases or on um, like pieces of plywood, MDF, um, so that you're not practicing on furniture and getting really frustrated when it doesn't work for you. Um, that's a tip that I've got for you. Um, and using water, of course. And um, and then your paper towels or t-shirt or chop towels is also a big, um, component. And I would just start with, you know, using two colors. Cause I feel that 
when you throw a third or a, like more than two colors when you're first beginning that that can really be frustrating so I would limit your colors get some good brushes and some shop towels little mister brush or mister bottle which is very helpful and you can get those on the Dixie Bell page as well um, and practice so that's the extremely long answer to your question and because I don't really have a short one <laughs> um, I kind of picked up blending relatively easily um, so, but I mean, I have been painting for forever, you know, since, since high school. So, cause I got, I got my degrees in art, but never went to art school. I, sh I wish I had, but I wanted, I knew that if I was going to go to school, I wanted to have a job at the end of it. <laughs> um, so I went into nursing. I got my bachelor's in nursing so I got a science degree but here I am I'm I'm not nursing anymore and I'm just full-time painting so all right so again I'm looking where the light part of my brush is so that I don't mix it up onto the dark and vice versa and this part's giving me a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to just let that part dry and then go back over it in a bit. Wow, there's a lot of panels to this. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's do another one. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do this last panel and then I'll show you. Do you guys want to see the. Um, oh, are you still trying to sell it, Brittany? Well, now my balloon is like deflated my sails you took the wind out of my sails just kidding yeah I don't know I mean I have so many pieces of furniture that hasn't sold yet be sold because of the color or, or whatever there's the buyer it's just not the right buyer or whatever so so I have faith and I'm hoping that maybe in our area the Denver area that somebody will see it and say that has to be in my house um, at any rate, uh, I'll do this panel and then I'll show you uh, that piece back there. It's very colorful and I used patina on it and I was extremely pleased as to like as far as how the, the patina came out. It was turned out so good if I don't say so myself. <laughs> And then, yeah, I'll finish this piece up, the painting part of it, up this evening. And then I'll do the transfers probably tomorrow. And then the top. What do you guys think about doing the voodoo, um, the voodoo uh, stain on top? So in answer to your question, Christy, I'm going, I'm, I'm thinking, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stain the top with some Dixie Belle voodoo stain. And, um, and then I'm going to do some transfers, not on all the panels, um, but on some, like the ones that are kind of up front and center, you know what I mean? And then um, this does have a glass, a glass round top that goes with it. So, um, 
so that top will be nice and protected, which is good. And thank you, Elva. Oh, did you really? Leona, I'm so happy for you. Um, what did you think? Was it, was it easier than you thought it was going to be? I'm curious to know. So, because, so I did some patina earlier today too, and, and I love it. I mean, good patina everything. <laughs> That's just me. I could, yeah, I paint everything. My kids even already threatened me. Uh, yeah, I will definitely sand it before I use the, st the stain. Um, be uh, partly because it is, um, like the, um, the top is just, it's not in good shape. So I'm going to stain, or I'm going to sand it so it's nice and smooth and, um, go from there. But my kids were saying that Belle is probably even going to get painted. And I'm like, if she stays still long enough and she's around paint, she's going to get painted. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. And I'm okay with that. I will paint my dog. If she lets me. I would paint my kids too, if they would let me. Uh, what transfer will I use? You know, I don't know. Um, I was thinking of the Lush Florals too. Um, it's got the big flowers on it and they're colorful. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I used the Lush Florals too on a record, like on a, sorry, on a record player cabinet recently that I, I've done lives on here. Um, and it, I mean, it's amazing. That that transfer is spectacular. I always, when I use it and I'm doing a live, I always tell people if you're gonna buy one transfer, you should buy that one because it is it is that good. Like the flowers are, the flowers are big and um, colorful and just beautiful beautiful flowers. Okay, I just see a glump. Okay, so I'm going to put this on hold for right now, and I'm going to bring you over. Um, okay, so that's my unfinished art pieces on, on my wall there. <laughs> okay, let me just move this. Sorry, ah, getting a little sneak peek of my studio. Okay. <laughs> so let me turn this a little bit so that you can see. So <laughs> yeah, this is the piece the resistance. See, like, look at that patina right there. Um, like this, it just looks super legit. Um, up here, can you see? I'm sorry, I can't see where I'm doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, so like all through in here, in here, because uh, I didn't just use a brush, you know. I use different things to apply the patina on with and so that really um, that really uh, made a huge difference I would say thank you so much you guys thank you thank you thank you um, yeah so doesn't even look like the same thing. oh Rhea, yeah no yeah it's definitely <laughs> oh, definitely a different look, isn't it? Not cool. So I used the Dixie Bell uh, patina. I used iron and copper, and I used the blue and the green. 
um, spray. So, but like I was saying, it was like, I mean, come on you guys, right? Look at that, look at that. And even like on these pieces here, they look like they're like legitimately rusted. And that's kind of like, that's the whole point of patina for me anyway. And I've kind of like played with different techniques and different ways um, to do the patina. And I just, I, I just was um, fighting with it because I was following the directions and it wasn't really getting the look that I had envisioned in my mind. So I changed some things up a little bit and um, thank you guys so much. And so I finally got the look that I wanted. And so I'm thinking of, I will be doing a video on how to do that. So yeah, the colors, there's quite a few colors on there. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'm going to say goodbye, good evening to you this evening. I'm going to finish up this hexagon. Um, I think it's a hexagon. I didn't actually count how many panels there were on it, but I'm going to finish that up and then I'm going to be doing um, some transfers tomorrow. And uh, I think maybe what I'll do as well is when I go to do the voodoo stain on the top, I will... Um, do a video, a live video on my Facebook page, which is Terrorex Designs, and I, I put it up in the notes up top. And, um, oh yes, okay, I'll do that. Thank you. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good evening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we will see you either on my Facebook page, um, or, um, later this week, or on Dixie Bell next Tuesday. All right. Oh, thanks, Tammy. It was great to hang out with you, too. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening. Bye.